So I figure it's been a while and we can talk a little bit about the home internet solution from T-Mobile. Overall, love it. I cannot talk enough good about it. Verizon still has not come to the plate with an opportunity or an option to get high speed internet in a rural setting. T-Mobile, they have. And by, after posting this video, I put it on our local Facebook page uh, for the community around here, and I found out a lot of other folks did the same thing and ended up going with T-Mobile. So let's cover a couple of the highlights. All right, so we're gonna go to T-Mobile Home Internet. Uh, we're gonna see that the signal is good. So what I wanna do is click on the more connection information. It'll bring up conne uh, connection quality stuff. And what I want to do now is show you, um, I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. What I want you to do is see uh, what the cell phone signal strength is for, uh, for my area. So we'll click on that and you'll see right there the RSSI is negative 68. So on a scale of uh, 50 to 120, 50 being the best and 120 being the worst, um, signal is, is good here. All right, so as I said before, you'll see 50 to 120 decibel milliwatts, dBm, uh, is what your signal range is. And, uh, you know, my signal is in the high 60s, so that's good signal uh, for our area. Now we'll go over and do a speed test one more time just to kind of show you guys what, the, what speeds we're experiencing here. So uh, we're out of Pittsburgh with the server. We've got... 46 millisecond ping and we're up in that uh, 29 to 30 range for our download for the upload we are well we're climbing climbing we're around 20 so overall super pleased with everything as you can see, speeds vary. Depends on network traffic. If you're trying to, you know, download a huge file in the middle of the day when a lot of folks are on the network, yeah, you're going to get speeds in that 20 to 30 megabits per second. But if you're doing something early in the morning or late at night, it tends to, sh to free up a lot of, uh, there tends to be a lot more space on the network and higher speeds prevail. Billing has been super simple. Signed up for the auto pay, saved myself some money, comes out every month. Half the price of OTR Mobile, can't say enough good things about that. I, I saved almost $45 a month by switching to the T-Mobile home internet solution. Um, yeah, so great. One thing that I would like to bring up, if you saw in the first video, so this is the size difference. They're both, this one is up against the wall significantly larger a router does not connect to um, this base station i found that out after i had shot the video this thing is a router and it's also a modem it, all in the same thing i have great service this thing reaches my outdoor wood stove no problem on the far uh corner of the house on the second story no problem getting uh, uh service over there uh, that's actually where my office is at and has no problem running the computer. The only other thing I'd like to bring up is uh, when I used to have a really messy corner right in here and I bought a router up there. Yeah, this is a whole debacle. This is my weather station. We'll get into that. That Netgear LB1120 that was up here, um, it actually got full bars. You'll be able to see it right here. Yes, I know I need cord management, so don't even start. But... This system does not have full bars. It's got good service, good signal, no, no issues with, with, uh, with internet connectivity, but this one actually doesn't have uh, the same amount. So yeah, I wanted to do an update just to let you guys know, home internet, loving it. I would highly suggest anybody that doesn't have uh, good home internet solutions to look into T-Mobile system. Um, you know, 50 bucks a month. Speeds vary between 25 to 30 megabits down. 
to 100 megabits down and upload speeds are anywhere between 15 to 20 megabits up to 30 to 40 megabits up. It is a great solution for those who have to homeschool their children right now uh, during this pandemic and uh, the price, you can't beat it. So don't forget guys, if you're liking what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. We're under 300 people left. Under 300 people left to get to 1,000. I want to thank everybody that has tuned in so far. I want to thank you for your support. And don't forget, if you like what you see, follow us on Rocky Acres Farmstead's Facebook page, Instagram page, and TikTok for more content, more videos, more everything. All right, guys, we'll see you.